years in prison is 10 years for her reflection and for her to change her life. Amber Geiger learns her sentence, and Botham Jean's family is already forgiving her for murder. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? First, Botham Jean's brother in court. Tonight, his father sharing that he would like to be Amber Geiger's friend. And for the first time, we will hear from Geiger's defense team. Good evening. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. Thanks for being with us. Here's what we know right now after this whirlwind day wrapping up the Amber Geiger trial in Dallas. Geiger tonight, as we do uh, the show, is in the Loose Air Justice Center this evening. Her second night in jail after being convicted and now sentenced of shooting and killing both of John inside his own apartment a little over a year ago. At some point, Geiger will then transfer into the state prison system to begin serving her 10 year sentence. Her attorneys still do have the right to appeal. Every angle of today's sentence with live TV coverage as we get underway tonight, we'll start with Aaron Jones, who was with Botham John's family this evening at church. Aaron, people everywhere, somewhat shocked, I can say, when John's brother showed Amber Geiger so much compassion in, in court, that video we've seen. But tonight, the father shared words about her that you just would not necessarily expect to hear. That's right, Doug. A forgiving spirit was shown once again. Tonight, we heard from both of Jean's parents. They were seated front and center here in the church where Jean liked to sit during Sunday services. This was his church. We heard from both first his father, then his mother. His mother said that the last year has been like sitting in the eye of a hurricane. She told Dallas citizens they now need to fight for change. They saw a contaminated crime scene. While John's father says in prison, Amber Geiger will have the time to reflect on what she did. The center point of tonight's service was their youngest son's interaction and embrace with Geiger in the courtroom today. The video was played, and John's youngest brother said that he forgives Geiger for murdering his big brother and hopes she dedicates her life to God. It's not really surprise. So you know how I be rid of and I thank the Holy Spirit is working in my life to become a friend at some point in time. I think I have the ability to do this. I can be a friend. And I would like to be a friend despite my loss. But God is good. That's why I questions. So I appreciate what Brandon did. Get as much. There are consequences for every action. Yeah. Forgiveness for us as Christians is a healing for us. Yeah. But like my husband said, there are consequences. That's right. I will leave my forgiveness to Amber to myself. And what Jean's mother says that she wants to see now is for her son's legacy to live on. She told people who attended tonight's service that she hopes that they contribute to the foundation that was created in his honor, saying they will help people in need. Reporting live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, thank you so very much. A little bit earlier at the courthouse today, we also heard from Allison Jean, the mother of both of them who said then that her son did not have to die. She openly criticized the Dallas Police Department for its policies and how officers are trained. But she said then and continues to say she will move forward as well. Our life must move on with change. That's right. yes. gotta fight first. There's got to be a better day. And that better day starts with each and every one of us. Not everybody agreed or were comfortable with this uh, sentencing today. Roughly two dozen people marching tonight in the streets of Dallas. This in protest of the 10-year sentence. At one point, the group here locked arms. They did block the intersection of Riverfront and Commerce right near the courthouse. But all was peaceful. They called for the city to listen to Botham Jean's mother, who called for change within the Dallas Police Department.